Eric Hansen here again. I'm actually in the humidor and uh, uh, we kind of stopped by to talk a little bit about propane. Can you introduce yourself and what you do at Humidor? Hi, my name is uh, Tim Moore. I'm the general manager of the Humidor and I just take care of the daily functions here. What do you think about a company that would run on alternative fuel, like 100%? I, I think it's a pretty good idea. I mean, uh, we've been searching for different ways to uh, you know, run engines and everything. This is exactly what you're doing. If it's uh, easily uh, ready available resource and there's no reason that uh, you know you shouldn't use it more often. This is a piece of equipment that we've been wanting to get for our company for like the last year. Now we were the, we were the company that was chosen by Manchester Tank to have this piece of equipment. Manchester Tank is now in January going to start uh, uh, branding this up or whatever and selling these to the regular public for a lot of different reasons but the one reason that I'm concerned about is for lawn maintenance and landscape uh, equipment on small uh, types of equipment. And when we came in, uh, we were looking at uh, biodiesel, E85, things like that. The problem is, is that we can't get down to little equipment. We still got those two stroke things that smoke and everything and uh, you know stuff like that. So what do you think about this as, as far as for a fuel cylinder for doing this? I mean, because this, you know, this is what's going to be out moving on It's nice the and small and compact, so that's real nice. Would you use something like this if you could just screw it in and then get it refilled? Depending on the cost. Okay. As well, as what it if it was 20 efficient. bucks? Would that cost? Would that be good? How long does it last? An uh, hour and a half. Yeah, I would use it. And it was a quarter to fill it up? Oh yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna see a lot more of these things, uh, you know, coming down the pipe, and this this will probably be a readily available resource for you if you wanted to switch over for like your small lawn equipment, your you know your gas grills, barbecue grills, mm -hmm. things like that. You can do the twenty pounders, the you know regular barbecue tanks, but you can get down to as small as this and bring it along with you in a compact form. Yeah, so. that's nice. Yeah. So, okay, great. So thank, thank you. you.